evening, when Sevadal came to my house and said, Swami is calling Shravan Kumar. So I said, I am not Shravan Kumar, my name is Sai Shravanam. He said, no, from Yajur Mandir they have sent word, Shravan Kumar. I said, okay, let me go, you know. I rushed and in the gate, one of the boys was taking care of Swami, was outside and uh, he said, what happened? Swami was very concerned what happened. I said, look, this is the condition, this is a lesion in the brain. Uh, Swami said, admit your mother in the super specialty hospital and Swami will come and see her. And uh, moments passed by, you know, as halfway I was coming back to my room, again another Sevadal came running and said, Swami is calling you. I went and Swami came down. Yajur Mandir, he was, out, he was in the hall. Swami and said, don't you have common sense? You are driving cars so fast. Swami said, you are coming at 120 kilometers per hour. And you are not seeing in front of the road. The rear view glass is pointing to your mother who is lying down on the back seat. You are not seeing the road, but you are very concerned that, you know, is your mother okay and you are driving like this and you don't know what's happening in the front. If your mother is sick, what if all of you become sick? Something happens in the road. Very bad. Never drive so fast. So at that time I was like, you know, we try to give letter and tell Swami he something. Everything. He knew everything. Then he said, ah, they told in Madras, tuberculosis in the brain and all. No, no. No tuberculosis in the brain. I'll come and see him. And then he said, "You and your father have not food, have not had food since morning. You are also hungry. Appa is also hungry." So he said, "I'll send you food." He made me wait. Whatever food was prepared for Swami in the carrier, you know, they gave. Swami himself gave it in my hand, and said, "Go give it to your father. <coughs> Let Amma be in Swami's room in the hospital." Not in any room. Let her go to my room. No doctors should check her. I will come and see her. So at that moment I was thinking, what faith my mother would have had. She didn't take a single tablet or an injection. Night passed by. Morning bhajan I went to the mandir. Swami came for bhajan. Swami asked, ah, we will go home. I didn't understand it properly, you know, it was very soft. And I told Swami, Swami, where Madrasa? Swami said, no, 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 number Then I said, number Vitika, Swami, to W4, A11. I said, you know, inside the Asana. Number Vitika, Pola. Amma, number Vitika, I didn't understand that Swami was telling our home means Yajur Mandir, you know. So, number hmm. Vitika means our home, our home, our home. I was telling Chennai, I was telling Ashram room. I said, no, bring her. I said, Swami, she is just lying down. No, no, no. Bring her. I will see her. And then I rushed to the hospital. Took uh, my mother in the back seat. Somehow wrapped some silk sari for her. And then in Yajur Mandir, Swami called us, spoke to us, spent a lot of time telling my mother, don't worry, everything will be fine. Just one month from that was my marriage. Mm. Swami said, marriage will happen very well. I will come for your marriage. So many things. And then Swami said, ah, go to Whitefield, do a small checkup, and then go to Chennai. We were so happy. I said, Swami, they, said, they are saying it's tuberculosis. Swami said, no tuberculosis. So like, okay. We are all so happy. Swami prepared food. Ah, Swami sent his driver along to take care. So we all came, we went to Whitefield Hospital. When we reached Whitefield Hospital, would you believe? Next day operation, for operation, they were given instruction by Bhagwan that my mother should be operated in the brain the next day. Mm. I am here standing in one foot saying, Swami told me it's a small checkup. Finish and go to Chennai. Chennai. But here Whitefield Hospital, the doctors and the team said, 
we have got message that uh, Amma must be operated for a brain tumor. I said, brain tumor? I mean, we didn't show the report to Bhagavan, we didn't say anything. Now this is the instruction that has come, so operation is tomorrow. I said, no knife will go on my mother. I will ask for me. One of the boys who was in Yajur Mandir called me up and said, no, no, no. Swami had only sent this message. So, don't worry. Swami said operation will happen tomorrow. I didn't want any messenger. I was so... Because it's your own mother. I can understand. Yeah. I want Swami to tell me. You know that ridge. I again drove back all the way. We reached Prashanti Nila. Morning Swami saw in Yajar Mandir. We reached Whitefield by about 12.30, 1 o'clock. By the time we knew that next day was operation, it was 2, 2.30. By the time I reached Puttaparthi, it will be 3, 5.30. I was like, no matter what, I will go. I drove again to Puttaparthi, all alone. My mother and uh, father was in Whitefield Hospital. hospital. Right. Swami had already come out for darshan and they closed the gate. Mm. Because Swami was coming via inside, so they didn't allow me inside. I am trying to tell the Sevadal, I have to go see Swami. It's very important, so open the gate. They said, no, 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 Swami is coming gen side, you know, can't you see? He can't open. Exactly that is when, uh, I forgot his name, some politician was coming in to see Bhagavan. So they opened the door. I walked along with the politician inside and Swami was already in Bhajan Hall. I straight walked to Swami. No permission, nobody could stop me. Straight walked to Swami and Swami, Swami and said, and now why have you come back? I said, Swami, you said small checkup. They Swami are saying, was in Prashanti Mandir or in the Portico? Swami came via Jain side where they didn't, I entered Kulwant Hall. Hmm. But we could not walk in front of Bhagwan, no, like that because Swami was coming in a car. Okay. okay. Not in wheelchair, in that hmm. car. Hmm. So it went straight into the Portico. Portico, okay. And then once Swami got down from the car, I immediately went to the Mandir and Swami had entered the Bhajan Hall and he was sitting. Right, royally I walked in front of Bhagwan from the back door. I straight went to him, Swami said, ah, why did you come back? I said, Swami, they are saying operation tomorrow morning. And then see Bhagwan's love, Swami said, actually bhajans were going on, Ravi sir was singing. Swami asked mics to be off. Swami said, you know, if I tell there is operation for your mother, you will not be in peace, you will not drive very carefully. You have to take your mother safely there. Your whole family will feel so bad. So I told it's a very small checkup. But tomorrow I will do operation for your mother. And then he said, with your with the right hand I will hold her. With my left hand, I'll remove all the tumor. Okay, he said. I said, okay, Swami. And then very lovingly Swami was talking other things to me. He said, now drive back very safely, drive very carefully. He said, tomorrow I'll come. 